Hello guys, Shamika here. This is a tutorial for connecting Bluetooth with the OLED. Most of the tutorials I've seen are for just blinking the LED on off. I don't think they are that useful, so I'm bringing you this tutorial. Before starting, let me describe you the Bluetooth module. This is the Bluetooth module. I've already connected it with the breadboard, and you know, I will show you the connections. There, it's very easy to connect. There are four pins. The VCC ground TX and the RX. VCC and ground are going to the common VCC and the common ground. The orange wire is the RX wire. As you can see, it is going between the two common points, joining points of the resistors. The down resistor is a 2K resistor. The upward resistor is a 1K resistor. The second node of the 1K resistor is going to pin number. I know it's a little difficult to see. It's going to the pin number two. Of the UNO and the black wire of the Bluetooth is going to pin number one. The TX you have to connect it to the RX and the RX you have to connect it to the TX. That's always vice versa. Guys, this is a, a prerequisite for uh, using OLED that you visit. You see the rest of the videos on OLED or to how to use the library. This tutorial, although it's for OLED, you can use it for LCD. So let's get started. Let's get first with the code. This is the code by just referring to the code. You can see the connections of how to connect OLED to the you know the UAG lib SSD 1306 is the controller. You have to include the UAG lib dot H library or you can also include the LCD library if you have used on LCD. On white setup, you have to uh, call serial begin 9600 is the baud rate. The hours and the minutes. In this tutorial, I am um, showing you how to increment the hours and the minutes. You can use for anything, but just do here. In the uh, now I'll show you how to do with the void loop. Yeah, this is the void loop. In the void loop, I am uh, like calling the serial. I am checking if serial is available. Then the serial read function is called and the value is stored in the times. I am uh, like uh, giving hex values and using switch times. Here the logical part comes. It's very easy once you understand. So let's see the case studies. There are seven cases. Or uh, the case one is for hours. It's very easy. Just look. If hours is greater than twelve, it sets to zero. Else, it just increments. R is equal to R plus one. The UAG first page, next page. You can skip this for a moment. Draw one. Like I will explain you later. Or uh, now let's get to the case two. In case two, it's similar. Just if the minutes is greater than sixty, it resets to zero. Otherwise, it gets minutes is equal to minutes plus five. And breaks. Now let's get to case three. Case three is similar to case two. Only I'm um, just if minutes gets less than zero, minutes are uh, like these are to sixty, and minutes are decremented here. In the case four, the minutes is incremented by one. If minutes is greater than sixty, minutes is equal to minutes plus one. In case five, if minutes is less than zero, the minutes goes to sixty, and minutes are you are decremented by minutes. As you can see, minutes is equal to minutes is equal to minutes minus one. Let's go to the last two cases under six and seven. Yeah, these are the last two cases. It's so uh, the case six is similar to case one. Only changes of hours is less than zero. Hours is set to twelve. Otherwise, R is equal to R minus one. The case seven is the most important case, or uh, whatever the R seven and the minutes seven are the R final and the minutes final. So, uh, the case which case is a break statement I use. So, uh, once you press the case seven, whatever R and minutes was selected will get stored in the case seven. That is an R seven minutes F. So, that's the basic uh, logical part. Now we will. Uh, Print it. We have to print it on OLED. That is our main task. So this is the function. UAG first page do draw function is called while UAG next page. Uh, it's actually the syntax of so first page and next page. Whatever its draw functions are between, uh, it shows. So let's get to the draw function. So yeah, this is the draw function. What it is drawing a string of blue and tooth. So when I will power on, you will see Bluetooth, and what it does on print pause, like on it's on 107 of X and 20 Y down, it will print R. UAG print is the command for printing. Whatever uh, it's the value you get it from anywhere, it just prints on OLED. 
यू एच जी स्प्रिंग नॉर्मल प्रिंट कमांड इट विल प्रिंट मिनट्स ऑन द सेवेंटी टू कॉमा थर्टी फाइव सिमिलरली आर्स एंड एच एफ एंड एम एफ आर द आर्स फाइनल्स एंड द मिनट्स फाइनल्स इनिशियली दे विल बी जीरो एज नो दे आर नॉट गेटिंग एनी थिंग बट देन दे विल यू विल सी दैट दे विल स्टोर द फाइनल वैल्यू सो दैट द कोड यू एच जी ड्रॉ वन यू कैन स्किप इट जस्ट डिस्प्ले इज कनेक्टेड वेन आई प्रेस द एफ वन बटन Now let's go to the app for connecting the Android phone to the Bluetooth module. As you can see, the Bluetooth or the LED of the Bluetooth is blinking very fast. It's not connected. So we have to pair it first with our my phone, my smartphone. So just go go to the uh, robot Bluetooth app. You can find it on Play Store. This is its Outlook. Now you see, you can see the three buttons. Just press it. Just uh, tap on. Uh, I'm so sorry, it's block connect, and you have to just select the module. It's the the name of the Bluetooth will appear means mostly HC zero five, but for your it's Arya DOS. I don't know why my bro named it Arya DOS. Uh, sometimes you get a pair like pair. Uh, you have to type a number. It's one two three four. Now you can see uh, it's blinking only once, twice, one second. So that means the Bluetooth has been paired with the module. Uh, these are the keys. There, uh, it is their Outlook. Uh, so the, you have to set it. You just have to press one. I have already set it. You have to just press one. You have to go to the settings. I will uh, like show you how to do that. You just have to go to the settings. Oh, now you can see F1. I've already given the values a uh, zero one. You just, if you want to know, just tap on it. Oh, uh, command zero one on button text two one. F1. That is the only thing that's very easy. I think I don't have to show you that. So now let's get back to the OLED. Oh, the. I've already done the code, guys. The OLED. It's not it's being very clear picture as you can see from camera, but OLED is very bright, so very clear. So as you can see, six and fifteen are on hours and minutes. I've already dumped the code, guys. The prerequisite while dumping the code is you have to remember. I'm repeating while dumping the code, you have to remove the TX and the RX pins. Otherwise, the code will not get uploaded. It will show you an error. As I've already dumped it, you don't have to. I don't. I will not do it again. But that please remind. So now, as you can see, the minutes is six and hours is six and minutes is fifteen. Okay, so now I will take my phone. Yeah, I will now press F one. As I press F one, see what happens. In the delay of one second, the hour is incrementing. It's four, five, six. You can see connected, connected is displaying. Now when I will press F four. The minutes will get in start incrementing and the hours will stay where it was. It's F11. It's R11 and if it's 32 right now, so I I think I'm going to set it to 32. I will stop it now. Whenever I'm going to stop it, I will just press the F7 button. So I'm pressing the F7 button. As you can see, it's not pressed. Yeah. It press now. It got press now. So uh, the hours are like seven, and the minutes are three. I am so sorry. This clarity is not very clear for the video, but the OLED is very clear. Guys, this was a little tutorial. I help. I I think it was helpful. Thanks for watching.